you spell drawer backwards, you get a reward. But if you spell repaid backwards, you get a diaper. If a word doesn't change when its spelling is reversed, we call it a palindrome. But if, when reversed, it becomes an entirely new word, it's not called a palindrome. It's called an amordnalap. And this is my amordnalap palindrome machine. When it comes to wordplay, I am an avid diva. But I've never really been happy with my demonstrations of them. They're always kind of messy. For years, I've dreamt of a way to reverse physical letters with just one clear motion that doesn't also flip the letters upside down. Now, my first idea was a kind of Ferris wheel with weighted letters that always hung right side up. But I was not about to ride gravity's coattails on this one, not for something this personal. So instead, I devised a toothed solution. Notice that when connected like this, these larger gears all turn together. Now that means that if I keep any one of them oriented how I want, the others will stay that way too. I was getting close to finally realizing my dream of showing with a single, simple flourish that, for example, Margaret would be a beautiful name for a billion kilograms of mass. The next problem was figuring out how to stick these magnetic letters on the plastic gears. Glue, maybe tape? Get real. I want something that makes me say, wow. I don't want the gears to get all sticky and messed up, and I want easily switching letters to be a challenge that can be won now. So I decided to use some magnets I found in a tube that said, don't touch. They were so strong, they could stick on by just tugging each other across a gear. But I needed clearance in the back for that to happen. Luckily, a single double bushing was all it took. Speaking of double, if you're expecting twins, why not give them a pair of names that are a Mordnalaps? Like Cassie and Isaac, Noel and Leon, or Iris and Siri. Oh, and also Harper Lee's first name, Nell, was given to her in backwards honor of her grandmother, whose name was Ellen. When it was all done, I finally had a contraption that could demonstrate a Mordnalaps that were as sweet as desserts without getting stressed. I could also remind people that if a leveler does a bad job, they will be asked to re-level. Ultimately, I put 11 gears on my machine, which is enough to spell abophobia, the fear of palindromes. 